Hey, boys and girls, this is Wildman Willis here, and I'm reviewing WWE Crown Jewel. Well, going into this, Common Sense should have told you this was nothing but a throwaway pay-per-view. They was going to do some shenanigans. I don't know why anybody is upset with this joint. I think it's because more than anything else, Brock Lesnar is the champ. Many of the fans of of a certain person that's not around are upset because the person that should have never lost the title in the first place, Brock, is the champ again. And everybody going to be like, the champ ain't on the TV anymore and this and that. See, Vince heard y'all complaining and fussing the first time. So you know what? He stuck it to y'all again. And I'm sitting there laughing at the whole thing. But for me to pay for view, this was a network special. Don't even call it a damn pay for view. It was a network special. I like the wrestling in most of the show. The outcomes for the World Cup, that was wonky. Why had Shane win it? It made no sense whatsoever. On um, the Universal title match with Corbin messing in the match, it makes perfect sense because Braun did beat that man up on Monday Night Raw. So, it's just, you should have known shenanigans was going to happen as soon as Corbin was going to come in with the belt. That's what happens with the authority. Y'all should know this by now, so I don't understand why people are getting all upset about this. This pay-per-view, most of it was just to troll people because y'all fussed about so many things. Y'all got... This is basically your punishment for asking for the Evolution pay-per-view in Vince's eyes because I know how petty Vince is. They said they really didn't want to throw that pay-per-view in the first place. So what they did was they stuck it to everybody at Crown Jewel and people going to be all upset. But guess what? Monday night, y'all still going to be watching, and Brock going to come out and hold his belt and wink at y'all, and y'all just going to be upset, and guess what? You just got to deal with it. So, just be patient. Ron will get his title shot. Sooner or later, he will get his big moment at probably WrestleMania more than anything else. So, just wait. Have patience. Y'all don't have no patience with nothing no more. I'm just glad... I wanted to see, I kind of wanted to see what they were going to do with Braun with the belt, but I also was kind of scared what they were going to do with Braun because I don't trust Vince McMahon and his booking. So, I enjoyed the um, New Day tag team match versus um, the Bar. That was a pretty cool match, even though Big Show in the feed, but Common Sense should have told you that was going to happen anyway. The Actually, the best night Match of the night, of course, was AJ Styles and Samoa Joe. They was killing it for something that was an impromptu match because Daniel Bryan didn't want to be there. So it's cool that he stand up for what he believed in him and John Cena. The Undertaker and Triple H match, well, basically the DX versus the Brothers of Destruction match. It, it was what it was. We all know Triple H and Shawn Michaels wasn't going to lose that match. Common Sense should have told y'all that. They just setting up something down the um, road. Just Y'all should know that by now. That's why I don't understand why people are so upset about this thing. This was a throwaway show. So Common Sense should have told y'all that it was going to be a whole bunch of shenanigans. And... Luckily, people was also mad that Hulk Hogan was going to be the host. He just did his one little segment, his two or three minutes, and you didn't see him for the rest of the night. So, hey, this show wasn't booked for us. It was booked for the people in Saudi Arabia. That's basically what this show was booked for. You should have known that going in. So that's why I don't understand why people are upset behind this show. It's a pay-per-view no, a network special on a Friday afternoon 
and people are mad about that joint. Come on, man. This is WWE. You should know by now all the bull crap they've been doing all over the years and all the pay network specials that they've been running back to back to back now since the network. Y'all gonna have to get used to this, especially 10 years of that Saudi Arabia money. So, Eva, you complain and complain and still watch. Uh, don't watch. And you don't have to worry about complaining no more because you won't see what happened. So, for me, this was just a network special. So, I'm not upset at what happened. I enjoyed some of the matches. I enjoyed Seth Rollins wrestling in his matches. I enjoyed Dolph Ziggler wrestling in his matches. It was cool to see Kurt Angle in the ring. I was shocked that Dolph ended up winning the match. I kind of didn't like what they did to the Miz. If they should have did anything, why didn't they just let Miz win that joint? I don't know if it was playing. I know um, Miz got his throat messed up during the Raven Mysterio match, so maybe that's the reason why they did it that way. I know people are mad that Shane got the World Cup, but the World Cup was a joke from the get-go. So I just, I don't see what everybody's upset about. This was just a throwaway show. That's all it is. It's just a network special. I think it has to do more with Brock winning the title than anything else. Everybody going in, they think Braun was going to be the champ. But, uh-uh, not yet. Not yet. They building for it. Some people might not be patient for it. Some people will. But, do I recommend people watching this thing? Just watch, honestly, watch it for the AJ and on Samoa Joe match. That's about it, but I'm not upset about it. I had fun with it for what it was. It didn't upset me. Like, it's got a lot of people upset, upset right now. That's just the way I look at it. It was just a throwaway, meaningless show that wasn't even booked for the United States. So that's the way you need to look at it. This is Wildman Will signing off. See you next time.